Here is a short clip from Zuckerberg's presentation the other day. So let's start by exploring what different kinds of metaverse experiences could feel like. Starting with the most important experience of all, connecting with people. Imagine you put on your glasses or headset and you're instantly in your home space. It has parts of your physical home recreated virtually, it has things that are only possible virtually, and it has an incredibly inspiring view of whatever you find most beautiful. Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just gotta find something to wear. All right, perfect. Oh, boy. oh, hey, Mark. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Mark. Hi. Hi, Mark. What's up, Mark? Whoa, we're floating in space? All right, we can stop that. Freaking A, man. The word home space, like, that's so crazy. Uh, I had to talk to Spencer Clavin about this. He's the host of his podcast, Young Heretics, which you not need to listen to, and the associate editor of the Claremont Institute. Uh, Spencer, I wanted to talk to you because I, th I don't think people know how to think about this properly. I think a lot of people they know it feels weird and it feels wrong and not right, right? There's like an uncanny valiness to it, but I yeah. don't think people can think theologically or philosophically properly, and I can't either, which is why I wanted to talk to you first. So when you see the metaverse, how, what are you thinking? How, how are you thinking? Well, besides like a reaction of complete and total horror, like you say, I mean, a lot of it just has to do with your first gut impulse to re recoil in, in, in horror from this. Um, but there's a very, very good reason for that, which is it's a complete inversion of everything that the West has always believed about the true, the good, and the beautiful. And the way to think about this, I think, is with one of the most famous passages from all of Western philosophy, and that is Plato's cave. In some sense, the search for truth in the West, at least in the pagan West, uh, begins with this indelible image that Plato comes up with in his Republic, the great work of political philosophy, um, in which he says that human beings, all human beings are born like people shackled into a cave. Um, and they're staring at the wall of the cave and the light is coming in from very far away, but all they're seeing is just shadows, puppets manipulated by people who are standing behind them and projecting this kind of shadow play on the wall. Now, Plato says this is what all of us are, are like in the real world. But if it sounds familiar, it's because the cave is the OG metaverse. The idea of Plato and therefore of you know much of Western philosophy is that the truth is out there somewhere and we're already kind of getting at it by half degrees, kind of seeking our way up out of this world of illusion. But in order to believe that, you have to think there's some stable, fixed truth out there. You know, it has to be uh, God, goodness, truth, beauty. It all has to be living somewhere in a place that doesn't depend on you. Mark Zuckerberg and his cronies don't believe that. So what they're essentially proposing is that all we do now is just dig caves within the cave because there's no true north there's no orientation you just you know continue to deceive yourself but what's the thing that they never say to you about the cave or the metaverse or whatever it's that there's people holding the puppets manipulating the shadows on the wall if you're in the metaverse somebody has to be outside of it pulling the strings mm. and it ain't you so the value proposition here is essentially give up god and let this pencil-necked sociopath be your god let mark zuckerberg control the universe that you live in and once you look at it that way you know it's just a product that he's trying to sell you and it's a crap product like there are all sorts of yeah. things we can do with technology that we don't want i certainly don't want to live in a world where uh mark zuckerberg is god hey cider crusaders right now on the first app we have a special about the metaverse and the evils of it and how i'm imploring you not to join it, have a conviction against joining it because it will be pushed on you and it will only cost you your soul. That is the severity of what we're talking about here. This is Mark Zuckerberg's new creation. He doesn't just want to run a company. He doesn't just want to run a country. He wants to be God and he wants you to be his slave. We're going to talk all about this on the special. It's available right now on the first app. 
Download it on your smartphone right now, totally free, and watch our special, Beware the Metaverse. Humanity depends on resisting.